everyone, today I've got my Bloodshot movie review. A soldier that was killed is brought back to life and got some special powers. Wait, haven't we seen this concept in a movie before? So as far as the story goes, directed by David S. F. Wilson, this sci-fi action film right off the bat reminded me of another similar movie called Upgrade, which came out uh, I'm pretty sure like a year or two ago. I just couldn't help the fact that it literally felt almost like a copycat of that movie. However, this one is also mixed in with movies like The Matrix and even Edge of Tomorrow. And this is actually based off of a Valiant comic of the same name. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna say I've never read it, so I don't know, you know, how the movie compares to the actual source material. Sony is the one that's releasing this movie. I mean, they are also, you know, responsible for distributing the Spider-Man movie. So, I mean, I, I thought like, okay, that sounds like a really cool plan. The story is simple and starts off with uh, getting right to the point where the results of one one's actions turn a man into a super soldier on a revenge spree. However, it seems like the majority of the movie had all this repetitiveness to it, and it was kind of getting overdone after a while. I was like, okay, come on, let's get to the point. Where is this story actually gonna go? So I kind of felt like, in a way, that right there showed how this was just an all over jumbled mess. I was actually starting to lose interest halfway through the movie so I you know at the end of the day was thinking okay I don't really have a lot of high hopes with the outcome of this movie now as far as the casting goes you've got Vin Diesel who plays Ray Garrison now I thought you know his character who lost his wife and lost even his life and he gets brought back to life to play the same type of action star that we've all seen him uh, play before and we're quite familiar with. I mean, he was in those Fast and Furious movies and he's been in other stuff like Riddick. I just feel like I wasn't, you know, impressed with him 100% of the time in this movie and I'm not saying that he can't carry a film because he is a big star considerably and well known. Like, I couldn't find anything truly unique about his performance. Now, Sam Hewen, however, he was the main reason for me to see this movie because being a fan of Outlander, I wanted to see what he could bring to the table in this action type of movie. But of course, I'd probably prefer him to play James Bond one day. And I don't know if you guys would agree with me, but I think, you know, he was pretty cool in this movie as well when he kind of comes off playing this bad guy in the movie. You've got Guy Pierce who plays this scientist and he's mostly seen behind the scenes and likes to get in people's heads though I found his character to be annoying at times and it's kind of surprising yet disappointing because I didn't want to feel that way about him because I think he's a decent actor too. Isa Gonzalez, you know, playing KT was a badass chick who didn't want to take any crap from any of the guys in the movie and she was basically the token female character in this movie but you know whatever and Toby Cabell of course I have to mention that he also plays a pretty decent bad guy in this movie. The things that I liked about this movie was obviously one of the main reasons to want to see this movie is because of all of those non-stop action scenes. I mean they were pretty incredible to watch. I mean from the stunts to everybody shooting guns and you know bloods like gushing everywhere. I mean it does get pretty gruesome at times which can also look pretty creepy and come off kind of scary, but it actually worked in this movie that also reminded me of Hardcore Henry in a way. And, you know, I thought that it wasn't, you know, over the top, it wasn't too showy, and at times it also reminded me of Alita Battle Angel, and I also liked that movie. And I think that it really proved that, yeah, you can make comic book movies look simple and different. It was just pretty interesting to see like, you know, this is how you're going to be entertained for a movie like this. But unfortunately the things that I didn't really like about this movie was that the characters were not as fleshed out as I was hoping that they would be, which made them kind of uninteresting to watch. 
And the other gripe that I feel like I had was that the CGI, especially towards the end of the film in the third act, I felt like looked kind of messy. And the dialogue at times was pretty laughable and I don't think that was taken in a good way. I just feel like you get what you get with this movie. So overall, I would say that, you know, I didn't have a lot of high expectations going in to see this movie, but I only ended up seeing the first trailer to this. I was either thinking it's going to be a hit or miss, and it's kind of how I feel here. So if I were to recommend this, all I'm going to say is just give it a bloody shot. So I would give this two and a half hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Bloodshot. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates coming every week for a Child Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys later.